In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to export any materials, textures or meshes straight from the Unreal Store to UEFM. This is actually such a simple process, but I will say before you start, make sure UEFN is closed at this point to save yourself a future headache down the line, which we will get to. So to begin, you just want to load Unreal Engine, make a new project for the file to go in, and then you want to go into the Epic Store. Now from here, you want to go to the Unreal Engine section and actually a quick side note, make sure that it's Unreal Engine 5.1 that you have installed. Anything before 5.1 won't work. So do make sure you've got the 5.1 version active. And then from here, you want to go to the marketplace and there's actually quite a big section of free assets. If you scroll to the top here and you see free, you can see there's a whole lot of free assets there, including um, Mega Scans, which is a ton of cool meshes and materials. Or if you've actually used Unreal Engine in the past and you've had things that you've bought, like me, you want to go into your library after you've purchased them. You scroll down here to your vault and they'll be all down here. So if I just, if I touch stylized and I just take the stylized thing that I've got here and I add it to the project and this is the one that I made, it has to be a 5.1 project. Just remember that you click on it and you add it to the project and then wait for this little bar to finish verifying and then installing it. As you can see, it's complete. You then go back into Unreal Engine and you can now see that I have this stylized desert folder in my uh, Unreal Engine. From here, you want to right click, click on migrate. You then want to make sure that a few things are not ticked at this point. Anything that is not a material, a texture or a mesh, you want to unclick so any blueprints any vfx anything like a map here you want to unclick that you can only export the materials the meshes and the textures or you're going to run into quite a lot of bugs so once you've clicked on materials messages and textures you want to press ok you then want to navigate over to documents and then find fortnite projects click on the project that you want to migrate them to click plugins, click on the name, and then here you want to click on content and select this folder, and then it will export all of these assets over to that project. Now remember, UEFN should have been closed while she was doing all this to save yourself a future headache, and if that is all done, you now want to load UEFN. Okay, so once you've loaded, you want to click on the project that you've exported the files to, and open that project up, and if everything was done, correctly before once you open this up you should see that exact same folder from unreal engine inside uefm so yeah as you can see the stylized desert folder is there that i've just exported and now fingers crossed this has all worked when i drag one of the meshes onto there it should actually be yeah the mesh now the big headache for this process which is why i said close uefm at the start is a lot of the times these won't export correctly you'll go to a material or a model, you'll drag it out and it'll be a checkered board instead. Actually, let me just also make it, let me test the materials and make sure that the materials have also um, exported correctly. So if I just quickly grab a box, put that box there, size out a little bit, drag this onto there. Okay, yeah, the materials have also uh, exported. That's actually quite a nice material. <laughs> so yeah. For me this time, this works correct. Like I said at the start, make sure UEFN is closed before doing this because that seems to be the biggest culprit for files corrupting in the migrating process. Sometimes it will still happen anyway. And if it does, you've got to simply go back into your documents. Actually, do you know what? I'll show you. I'll show you now. So you want to go back into your documents. You then want to navigate back over to your Fortnite projects. And the same thing as before, go all the way through. But this time, click on the content and you will delete the folder that you have exported over. You will then go back into documents and do the exact same thing for Unreal Projects. You'll do uh, Unreal Project, click on the name, click content, and you'll also delete the desert again from there. Then you'll close UEFN, re-import it into your projects on Unreal Engine, and then re-migrate it again. It really is a ball lick when that happens and it really doesn't happen that often. It probably happened to me maybe two or three times in the last like 50, 60 exports that I've done. As long as UBFN is closed at the start, you shouldn't have this problem. 
Anyway guys, that is going to wrap up the video. Hopefully this did answer some questions that I've been getting inside my Discord. And if it doesn't, then just be sure to hit me up again inside that Discord. The link will be in the description and the pinned comment of this video. There's a bunch of us in there always helping each other out when we've got a problem on a UEFM. If you did enjoy, a like is appreciated and do be sure to subscribe for many more UEFN guys just like this one. And thank you all so, so much for watching. I'll see you at the next one.